We decided to try to swim out to a sandbar that was four or five hundred yards from shore. And um, we wanted to get to a place where the waves were breaking and we could body surf. So we were working our way out to the sandbar and JJ said to me, what do you think would happen if a shark came along? And I said, well, we, we'd be history. And um, we swam a little bit farther out and we were having trouble getting to the sandbar so we decided to turn around and swim back. And Just after we decided to do that, I felt a huge bite on my leg and I was quite sure it was a shark. That was, that was my first thought. I felt like my leg was caught in a vice. And um, I, I kicked I kicked very hard with my free leg, with my right leg, and I was able to, or the, or the shark decided I wasn't tasty or something good happened, and he let me go. And um, I guess JJ heard me scream, and uh, about then the shark surfaced right between the two of us. So we were probably five or six feet apart, and the, the shark came up right between us, and uh, we could see his whole back, his dorsal fin. I had uh, four uh, deep puncture wounds on each of my two legs, so a total of eight wounds that required stitches, and uh, I, I had 47 stitches. Uh, I had a couple of severed tendons in my left ankle, and um, so uh, I, I'm feeling very pleased to be here and walking. <laughs> um, I know for me what was really surprising is that you hear all these stories about kind of adrenaline kicking in and you swimming so fast back to the beach, you know, faster than you could imagine. And I think I can speak for myself, and I think it was the same way for both of us, that I didn't feel the adrenaline as much as the shock. There was really one, one option, which was swim. Uh, swim towards shore. And, and so we set out towards shore, and about halfway there I started feeling kind of dizzy and lightheaded and I wondered if I was losing blood and wondered if I was going to be able to make it to shore but I, that went through my head for a minute and I just kept swimming and we didn't feel scared and I wasn't feeling any pain and um, uh, I didn't start feeling pain until probably an hour and a half later in the ambulance.